All right, good evening. So I'm going to hammer out, I guess, some videos today as my dog walks in here. Um, so let's just do a quick, uh, hey, I just downloaded um, Kali Linux uh, virtual box image, and now what do I do? I got it loaded up. First thing, right? Oh, Jesus. First thing you want to do is resize this. I don't know why it automatically does that. It's annoying. But um, so you're you load in Cali Cali, right? And um, a lot of people just it's a it's a virtual box image, and they're just gonna sit here and do nothing with it. But even though it's virtual box, like you could it could still be accessed, right? <clears throat> and especially if you're gonna be messing around um, in here, you need to change up a few things. So first things first, you change up your password um, from Cali to something else. We'll do that, right? Bam, that's good. Now. Um, they didn't give you access to root automatically now, right? But to get around that, you just go sudo password, right? Password, sudo password for Kelly. Just change that. Let's see if I can do this right. Now you set up your root password. There you go. You got that. Um, so this is when I back away and get out of the Kelly account um, because it's easier just to set up the initial things with root. So. I just go here and uh, you don't have to go here. You can click up the top right and uh, we'll switch users back over to where I was at here because I'm updating right now. You set that up and we're back over here to your root account. Now, in your root account, before just a quick hardening, like real light and easy stuff, you want to check out the, keep it up to date and see what we're looking at here. All right, so that's looking good here, and I can do 623 packages, geez, can be updated, so we'll check that out. And then also, change your font. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like the original, but uh, so hack is, for me, easier to read, and I hope you guys can see that too. I don't know how to, maybe, uh, I don't know how to make it zoom in like cool guys do. Whoa! No, don't do that. All right, so, um, well, we want to uh, definitely upgrade. Oops, jeez. Safety disk upgrade. All right. And you're definitely going to want to let that run. So that's a big part of uh, your new distro, right? Getting things going correctly, especially with the Kali. And you, you do this... Um, for your, your regular install as well. Next thing is your SSH keys, they're default, right? They show up default. So like right now, you can take a look at your SSH. Well, let me just go to the directory. So right here, and we got a bunch of SSH keys that come just pre-installed in the, in the image. So we wanna do some nice little housekeeping here and replace those so I uh, I learned on some walkthrough to uh, save them just in case right so you save them and um, that's pretty simple so now you just want to move them over so move right SSH. Oh, there we go start to hold bam gone now this is the easy part SSH server go right through you can ignore this it's okay and now you have some new new keys uh, you can run the MD5 checksums if you want uh, to, to really verify but you should be just fine um, that's good practice though um, so then, all right, you got your SSH keys taken care of, blah, blah, blah. Now you want to add yourself a new user. Um, so that's easy here. We'll go with uh, 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 let's go with my like first username I used when I was a kid playing Quake, right? Bam. All right, a little password for this guy. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatever real quick. Uh, enter your name, Bobby, boy, you don't have to do any of this stuff, um, just skip through there. All right, so you got your new user now. Um, you're going to want to add him to 
pseudo so that they can, um, you know, they have access. So slash a dash g pseudo and the most important part, specify the user, bam. So that's good. Now what I like to do after that is just go to the v pseudo, um, pseudo, sorry. And uh, I've already added one user there. Um, I don't think you need to do this with this with Kali, but uh, I like to do it just to be sure. And make sure you are very careful. It will tell you if you mess something up, but you can go all bad if you if you really do mess something up. But don't save that. Bam, you're good to go. We are still upgrading over here. But basically, you added your user, you gave him sudo privileges, you um, changed your Kali password out of Kali, and then you also um, set up uh, your dist upgrades and your uh, dist update, right? Um, next thing I want to do is I want to turn on, uh, let's see, service. Start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, service SSH. We want to. Let's see. Hmm. Start it. Well, let's see. Status. Is it even running? It's not. So, I'm going to start my SSH so I can get into this box. Bam. Or you can do system control. Uh, enable, I believe. Service. Maybe it's just start. Okay. So that works too. Service. Stage. Status. And she's running. So, bam. Here we go. So now you have your distro, your image, your virtual box all ready to go and to run around and have some fun and play with it. And let's check, uh, whoa, you might even have to, no. So you did have to install, um, cause they, they were doing this IPA bullshit. I didn't want, like it. So you can see if config, where are we at here? Looking good. Got everything all set up and good to go. Your information right there on the network. Sounds good. And next thing I like to do is I'll add in my Shodan uh, information for the Shodan command line tool. But uh, yeah, no, that's quick, easy way to get um, your virtual box image ready to go with Kali. So uh, yeah, have, uh, have fun.